The Monkey 2 introduces a lot of new items, enemies and secrets. One of the most annoying problems that you may encounter is getting poisoned by a pesky creature or trap. We've got a few pointers that will help you avoid getting poisoned in the first place, but if you happen to get unlucky, here's how to cure poison in Spelunky 2. First up, it's important to know how you can be poisoned. Enemies that blow up green bubbles like the Hermit Crab and the Pangsy in the Tide Pool levels will poison your character, and breaking a pot may reveal a poisonous scorpion from time to time. There are also arrows coated in green slime that can poison you too. You have two options when faced with a poisonous enemy, eliminate them quickly or run past them sharpish. You can use your whip to stun smaller enemies. If you have spiked shoes, you can also hop on their heads to eliminate them, but this is much riskier if they're the type to blow poison bubbles. Larger enemies may require heavier answers like bombs or a shotgun to fully clear them, so pick your battles carefully. You'll know you've been poisoned as your character will begin to glow green. Their hearts, in the top left corner of the screen, will also change to reflect that the status effect is active. Poison doesn't wear off over time, so it's not something you can just ignore. In fact, it drains your health, gobbling up a heart every 30 seconds. This gives you a finite amount of time to find a cure. Thankfully, the cure is simple. All you need to do is find the pet that's tucked away on the level, and carry them to the exit. The pet has to be alive as it needs to lick you to remove the poison effect, so tread carefully. Following their healing kiss, you're good to continue with your run. That's all for now on Poison in Spelunky 2. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out other Spelunky 2 guides on PCGamer.com.